So I released a video about the fastest way to get faction reputation a while back. A lot of people disagreed with my methods and informed me that running strikes is the fastest way to gain reputation for Vanguard and or your faction. So I decided to put it to the test. I played strikes for one hour and I done the Earth VIP mission patrol grind for one hour. Results from the strikes are based on having Vanguard reputation boost activated, a class item to boost Vanguard rep and the Vanguard streak bonus for staying in consistent strikes and I was also running them solo without a team to be able to skip parts or blast bosses with swords to get them down quicker. Results from the Earth Patrol grind are based on having a Vanguard class item boost and nothing else. Firstly, we will look at strikes. I ran four strikes within one hour, two Undying Mind, one Tanix, and one Omnigore. The fifth strike would have been completed about five minutes after the 60 minute mark that I had allotted. I had teammates that dropped from games and others joining which slowed down the pace and I also had some teammates who wasn't exactly helpful in clearing mobs out and just sitting back letting me do it which also slowed the pace. With that being said I accrued 1111 vanguard rep from 4 strikes and 505 faction rep. With the 5th near completed strike I would have ended up with 1397 rep for Vanguard and 635 rep for Faction. I did not total the Glimmer acquired or run any kind of Glimmer boost, frankly that would have just took me too long to work out. The XP gained is an estimate based on the average of 20 XP per kill, I'm not sure how accurate that is, and with the 4 buses offering 150 XP per kill, I totaled my kills times 20 XP for each strike. You get 1,234 per completion, so altogether it estimates at about 12,500 XP accrued over an hour's time. So now we move on to Earth Patrol Grind. If you do not know what this is, I will leave my video in the description that shows you how to do this. Now first and foremost, the chances of getting VIP missions are random, so it isn't 100% consistent all of the time. but I do feel after running this grind so many times that I was actually unlucky this time around in the amount of patrols that dropped. I completed 25 in one hour. I think if you're lucky you could easily push 35 in an hour. But let's look at those 25 as this is based on a one hour grind. In terms of reputation for Vanguard I received 1375 rep and for my faction 625 rep. So for the Vanguard you get 55 rep per actual completion of a VIP mission and you get 25 faction rep for completion too. Notice that both of these amounts in total are higher than the four strikes that I had completed in the same hours grind and me feeling that it's actually unlucky to only get 25 patrol missions. You could quite easily dominate in the amount of reputation gained if you are lucky enough to push those 35 patrol mission marks which is very doable because I've done it before. Even with the 5th strike that would have been completed in the next 5 minutes, I feel that when you're lucky with the earth patrol grind, you will still outdo anything you can do in strikes as a solo player. However, this is solely about the 60 minutes of testing, so the patrol missions definitely edged out the strikes in terms of reputation. Now for Glimmer, as an added bonus, you will receive 500 Glimmer per VIP patrol mission, which gave me 12,500 Glimmer just for doing this grind. XP gain was around about 700 XP per VIP kill, estimating a 17,500 XP gain, which is also higher than the estimated strikes amount. Now each of them have their benefits. For instance, the strikes, I found it a huge huge benefit for the amount of engrams gained and possible legendaries of course and on top of that you can use free of coins to possibly get some exotic engrams which is very very helpful if you're trying to get new weapons and new armors and rank up your crypt arc so that definitely crushes the VIP missions in terms of engrams so if you're looking for reputation and you're looking for engrams strikes is the way to go. 
for patrol the massive benefit was a high glimmer gain so if you're looking for reputation and glimmer i would go the patrol way and also with the patrols, you don't have to put as much effort into getting it completed. I was watching a TV program for 45 minutes of that 60 minutes and I was eating my dinner at the same time and I still didn't slow down or do anything wrong because it is just so easy. So if you were playing solo, I believe that in the long run, let's say over months and months of time, the strikes will probably outdo the VIP missions due to the consistent a guaranteed reputation gain. However, if you get lucky on a regular basis, in the short term, let's say three to five hours of grind, the patrol missions will beat out the strikes very, very easily. But it all depends on RNG and luck when it comes to the patrol missions. VIP missions do fall a lot more often in comparison to Destiny Past, so it's definitely worth a look into grinding these out. If you are in a fire team with two of your buddies, strikes will always, always be better because communication, the speed of running the actual strike, skipping certain areas that you know you can and optimizing boss kills will easily make strikes the better choice. If you're a solo player and you don't feel like working hard throughout strikes and you want a light, easy reputation gain, you will be better off going through the patrol missions. And to find out how to actually do the patrol mission grind, the video will be linked below in the video description. Thank you everybody, I have been easy now, and you guys have been awesome. And what would be awesome is if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, and of course that like button. You help me out so much with your support, I love you all. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah. Yeah.